Hi, it's Allison. And Claire. And we're going to do a little book review about... Sarah Plain and Top. Which is another Newbery Award winning book that Claire has recently read. And this, I chose this book for her to read. She didn't choose this one on her own because I was looking for something that I could find resource material quickly and easily so we could do some homeschooling now that we don't have any school thanks because to of corona yeah social distancing so claire read this book and it was actually probably a little bit easy for claire who's nine years old yes it was very easy and it was only about 60 pages but so. it was a good book so tell us a, a uh a little bit about i guess what this book's about so it's told from the point of view of Anna. Anna is my favorite character. She's right here. And the problem in this book is that Papa, which is their father, uh, needs a wife because this is Caleb and this is Anna. They only have their father. What happened to their mother? So the day after Caleb was born, so he's the youngest sibling, her, their mother died. Okay. So... And since then, Papa hasn't had a wife. And so the story starts out with Caleb asking his sister, Anna. It says right about, here on the back. Yeah. It's, okay. It's written right there. So, so read it, says, it to us. Did Mama sing every day? Caleb, Caleb asks his sister, Anna. Every single day, she answers. Papa sang too. Okay. So why do you think that Papa wasn't singing anymore at the beginning of the book? Well, because he said, Caleb asks, why don't you sing anymore? And he, um, his father, Papa, says that he forgot the songs. But I really believe that he just was too sad to sing because his wife died. Right. So he, he, he... How is it that he comes to meet Sarah? He posts an advertisement or something? On the news, uh, the newspaper. And Sarah writes him a letter. And so Sarah comes to live with them on, they live on the prairie. But where is Sarah from? She's from Maine. Right. And she, so she's used to living where? Near the sea. See, now she loves the sea. She wants to stay out in the prairies here. But there's no sea, so she, she still wants to stay there. And But she does miss the sea. So what she does is she, when she comes on her first day, she wears her yellow bonnet, which she tells in the thing she said. In the letter that she writes back, she will wear a yellow bonnet. So she came with the yellow bonnet mm -hmm. on. And when she came, she gave them a present from the sea so she gave him a rock from the sea a smooth one and her a shell i think you got that mixed up i don't <laughs> i think anna gets the rock and caleb gets the shell maybe i don't know they both got something from the sea whatever <laughs> <laughs> okay so just tell us really quickly now would you recommend this book to your friends yes and why because I really like this book, and I think they would like it too. So Anna tells her point of view, so you can kind of feel her emotions. So she kind of tells you how she's feeling, and then you might feel it too. Yeah, okay. So that's Sarah Plain and Tall by Patricia McLaughlin. And thanks for watching. <laughs> Allison Hikes the Bookwoods. Bye!